Hi everyone, we're going to talk about an issue that I found in the forum and also had with one of my websites that involves removing the text, there are no products, when it's really not appropriate. Here's one of my websites and I've got this little thing up at the top that says there are no products. Someone pointed this out to me that really isn't very user friendly when you see there are no products in an online store and I hadn't thought about it but it doesn't look as good as it could. There actually is a way to change this and I found the solution in the Presta Shop form and I searched for, I think I said something like change no products in category view or something like that. But anyway, this is, this is exactly the solution that I was looking for. So if we go into this, we can see, let's give it a second here. We're going to see that, see that there's been a discussion on the topic and the moderator, Rocky, has come up with some pretty good solutions, but one of the things that I don't necessarily like about some of the earlier parts or the earlier posts is that it involves modification of the code. And what I found is that as I read down here, there actually is a very simple and elegant solution. It doesn't require any code modifications. If you get down to this particular post, it says that you can do something like going to the back office and go to tools and then translations and then front office translations. And then basically there should be a place where you can change that wording. Well, it took me a while to figure it out, but here's what I've come up with. I'm actually in my back office right now. So get into your back office and click on Tools. And then you'll have all of your little sub-tabs below here. Click on Translations. And in Translations, what you want to be, where you want to be is at Front Office Translations. If you see here, there's a couple different areas where you can actually modify your translations. But you want to be in the front office translation because that's the one that is causing the problem for us. Now read this carefully because I, I didn't read this right away, but it was right in front of me. It says, here you can modify translations for every text input on PrestaShop. First, select a section uh, such as the back office or modules. In our case, it's front office. And then click the flag representing the language you want to edit. Okay, well, I happen to be in the United States and I'm going to click our American flag. Now you have to kind of know what you're looking for, and I had to look a bit. I scroll down until I found the text that appeared to be appropriate, and it turned out to be correct. So I was in the category section, and the text that I'm trying to deal with is there are no products. So let me show you here again. There are no products, and it appears to be a category issue. So I took a chance, and I changed it to something that I thought might be, work a little bit better. And I chose to change it to, please select a category below. I want to give them an action. I don't want to, I don't want to say there are no products and give them a misrepresentation because there are. They're just further down the line. I want to tell them how to get to those products. So let's say, please, oops, please select a category below. You need to spell. And then you go back up to the top and hit update translations. Now before I do that though, you might want to look around here a little bit. There's a lot of really interesting stuff that you can modify or change. So if you don't like the way something is phrased or you don't like the words, you have an opportunity to change it here. And there's there's quite a bit and this is just one section. This is just the front office here and it's it's huge actually. So you've got front office, back office and several others. But for now that's all I want to, all I want to do. So I'll hit Update Translations. Okay, now I'm going to go over to my website again and still says there are no products. So I need to refresh, reload. And now it says please select a category below, which is exactly what I want them to do. Got the categories here. I know I don't have any products in this particular category. But instead of saying there are no products, now it says please select a category below. Still not quite right because I don't have any categories below. But what I'll either have is I'll either have a category to go to or I will have a product. And if I have a product, then this changes to the amount of products. It says there is one product or there are two products or something like that. Otherwise, if it's another subcategory, it'll say please select the category below and give you an indication on what to do. So there is a pretty simple solution to a very annoying problem if you don't know how to solve it. I hope that helps and we'll see you next time.